every graphic designer's day is different. And I've never really walked you through my typical day as a designer. So I thought I would show you my typical day as a graphic designer. Get me a coffee. Then we've got a meeting. A meeting? A meeting with Sam. Sam's a graphic designer that works with us on a day-to-day -day basis. No, she works every day. <laughs> She's lovely. She's from America and uh, we've got a meeting about a meeting, which it sounds awful, but we just like to talk about meetings before we present work to people. So we've got that today. Then a podcast. So podcast. I'll normally get into the office at around like 11, but I don't come in earlier than 11. I like to wake up late and work from home at first, which is just checking emails in the morning. And most of our clients are in like different countries. We're in the United Kingdom. So if you've got American clients, you can sort of chill out for a bit in the morning. First thing coming in, I get to my computer desk. I've got my coffee in hand. I'm hoping the office is warm. If you haven't noticed, the office looks bigger than you would see on normal videos because my set is actually where I do most of my work anyway. So that orange background, that set looks lovely and beautiful. However, the rest of the office is essentially a working live film set like this. This is just in the other corner. So I sat down, first thing I did was create a font or start working on one of the fonts that I wanted to release. They take a lot of time and they're quite therapeutic. If you like Gundam or Lego, it's basically just building blocks of Lego, putting shapes together to create a system. I love doing them. We've got a call with a client, a meeting where we're going to present some ideas and some concepts for them. But I need to talk to one of our designers first prior to the call. So that <laughs> means we do another meeting, meeting and meeting inception. So you can see me here designing, putting mock-ups together for the presentation and making sure that everything is looking good for the client. We spend a hell of a long time doing presentations for clients. It takes about as long to do the presentation as it does to design the finished logo well I wouldn't actually go that far it probably takes just about the same amount of time So before the call, we need to send some documents back and forth. Me and Sam have everything strewn around on our own computers. One way of doing that is using WeTransfer and Adobe Libraries. Something that I do quite often, not every day, is I set time aside to learn. Learning new skills, learning how to become a better designer through watching content creators. Well, Skillshare today are sponsoring this video because not only have they got thousands of classes from amazing individuals such as Ali Abdal, Aaron Draplin, and myself, but they have this new thing called a learning path, which essentially takes all these other courses that people have created and lump them together to give you a direct path to learn from different creators. For instance, I've been taking the Mastering Your Productivity with Ali Abdal recently. I've also taken the Procreate Dreams one and Adobe Fresco classes. If you want to learn more about graphic design, logo design, and you want to get your teeth sunk into all of this amazing content, then you can. Skillshare allows you to learn from actual experts who are experts now. <laughs> For the first 500 of you that click the link in the description below, you'll get a free trial of Skillshare Premium where you will be able to watch all of these classes on Skillshare. That includes mine, everyone else's. It's amazing and there's no reason why you shouldn't. So please click the link down below if you want to learn more about graphic design or even just increasing your productivity. After that, I had a bit more time. So what I started to do was do some more preparations for another client project that we're working on. During this time, we're working on quite a few client projects. So we're in and out of a lot of different works. And this time I'm working on a less modern logo. This one's for a cool brand. I can't talk about it, but you can see some of my process of me using real paper. It's huge paper that I use Pilot Parallel Pens for calligraphy. What I generally do is when I'm hand lettering or designing logo types is I'll use these pens uh, to generate some foundational base blocks of what the logo type could look like. I'm a big fan of calligraphy. It just speeds the whole process up. Other tools that I use for lettering that you'll see is my iPad Pro. It's a 12.9 inch with the Apple Pencil. I've been using Adobe Fresco a lot more because it gives me more 
control. People sleep on that app actually because you have like rulers and shapes that guide you everywhere inside of the app. So I much prefer it for certain styles of lettering and that's what I was using here that you can see. It's really nice to have a project, a client project where I can put my old hand lettering skills to use. I've been hand lettering for years now and being able to create something that looks organic, homely, but also professional is, is really nice. After that, it's podcast time. I was invited onto the Angry Designers podcast. They're, those two are really funny, really nice to talk with. And we just started talking about all things design. They wanted to know a bit about my history, about my future of where we're going and what we do here. So that podcast was fun. I think we spent like an hour and a half on that, an hour, uh, just talking all things design. And you can go and watch that if you want. I'll link it down below. If you don't know, we also have Matthias, who is our editor. He does all things production in the office. It used to be just me um, until Matthias came along. And essentially his job is to edit videos, help record them. But something that we've been doing more often are reels and short form. Hey, Will. What reel do you want to film today? Dimension tour. Yeah, dimension. Sick. Towards the end of the day, we want to get home, but beforehand, sometimes we go to a pub just for a quick drink after work, especially on days where it's really busy. Uh, it's nice to just be able to chill out, and we live in a really nice small town with some cool pubs. So we go there, have a quick drink, and then we go home. So that day had a lot of different things happening to get you to understand a full picture of what we do. but. Most of the time, I'm just sat in front of my computer scrolling through fonts. Let me know in the comments what your days look like if you're a graphic designer or if you have any questions about my day-to-day -day routine, be happy to answer them down below. Make sure that you press that subscribe button down below so you can get more videos. We've got over a thousand of them now, so go and check them all out. Thanks for watching.